Thank you for choosing Atrium Health at home for your home health needs. Your provider has ordered for you to receive nursing or therapy at your home. When the nurse or therapist arrives, you will get a copy of your patient handbook. This video will guide you through some of the information you need before our visit. All of the information discussed on the video will be in the handbook. The nurse or therapist can answer any questions you may have at that time. Information will cover what home health includes, costs and coverage, rights and responsibilities, safety at home, consent for care, your goal for home health and ways we will work with you to plan for your care. The patient handbook provides information for you, the patient, as well as others that might be involved in your care. Atrium Health at Home is owned by Carolina's Medical Center at Home, part of Atrium Health. We have eight home health branches in North Carolina and South Carolina. Our services include skilled nursing, physical, occupational, and speech therapy, medical social workers, and home health aides. Our offices are open 8.30 to 5 p.m. weekdays, but we have triage nurses on call 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. That nurse can be reached by calling your branch's main phone number. To qualify for home health, the following requirements must be met. Have a medical need that requires a licensed nurse or therapist. Have a licensed provider that is involved with you through the care and will give us orders. Home must be the best place to receive care and be safe for you and for our staff. Be available, able, and willing to assist in your care and have a caregiver that can help. And most payer sources also require home health patients to be homebound. You may ask, what does homebound mean? It means that while we are seeing you, assistance is needed to leave the home and leaving home is done infrequently and for short periods of time other than for medical appointments. This may not be the level you were before you needed home health. At a later time, you will be discharged from home health. Transfers or discharges are needed when your provider and the agency agree that your needs can no longer be met in the home, you or the payer will no longer pay for home health services, your provider and the agency agree that your goals have been met, you or your representative refuses services or asks to be transferred or discharged. Or there is behavior in the home that makes it very difficult to give the care you need. When the time for discharge or transfer arises, our staff will work with you to plan for your next steps. Rights and responsibilities. As a certified home health agency, we are required to make sure you know your patient rights. As a home health patient, your rights are you and your property should always be treated with respect. Be free of verbal, mental, sexual, and physical abuse and neglect. Consent or refuse care in advance of and during treatment. Be involved in the planning of your care. Receive all services outlined in your plan of care. Have your record kept confidential. Be advised of any payment responsibilities. If you are receiving services paid for by Medicare, you will receive written notice of any services that will not be paid for by Medicare. Voice complaints about your care that is or is not provided or lack of respect. These concerns can be expressed without fear of discrimination or having your services changed or stopped. Anytime you have a concern, we encourage you to share with your nurse or therapist. You are also always welcome to call the office and speak with the manager or director, as well as the assistant vice president of Atrium Health at Home. Those numbers are provided in your handbook. If you feel further follow-up is needed, we have also provided the number to the state hotlines, licensure, and accreditation agencies in the handbook. We want to be sure we have the appropriate people involved in your care. If you have someone that you would prefer to make decisions for you, please have them available at the first visit if possible. During this visit, we will ask if you have any advanced directives. This includes a healthcare power of attorney and or a living will. If you do, we would like to see a copy. If you do not, we have information available in the handbook on these decisions. If you have any questions, we can arrange for someone to talk to you about how to proceed. 
All home health agencies are required by federal guidelines to collect health information to make sure you receive quality health care services. This information is shared with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid and is used to assure that we are providing you with the appropriate care. Your privacy is important to us and we follow all HIPAA regulations. Full copies of both notices are included in your handbook. In order to provide you with the best experience, we ask that you provide accurate and complete personal and medical history, provide us with insurance and financial information, notify us of any changes in phone, address, caregivers, or insurance information, notify us if you are receiving any medical supplies or care from another healthcare company, let us know if you have any doctor's appointments, emergency room visit, or go back to the hospital. We also need to know if you are feeling worse or have changes in your health. Notify us ahead of time if there are conflicts with scheduled appointments. Please help keep our staff safe by securing any firearms during visits, not smoking with staff present, securing animals that may be aggressive or interfere with your care, not sharing information or pictures of staff on social media, ask permission to video or record our staff. The nurse or therapist that comes to your home will have specific information on any payment responsibilities on your part. Not all payers have copay amounts. Payers have different guidelines on services, copay amounts, supplies, or other costs that may or may not be covered. There is a patient connections team that answers billing questions and discuss payment options. They can be reached at 1-888-670-1213, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. We encourage you to wait until you have discussed your responsibilities with the nurse or therapist before calling this team. Your safety in the home is one of our top priorities. We have some general safety tips for all patients in our handbook. Keep emergency numbers handy. Keep all medicines labeled together and in a safe place. Your nurse or therapist will need to look at all of your medicines. Realize that you may not be at the same level as you were before, so ask for help before getting up, bathing, or going outside. Always use assistance such as canes or walkers that have been recommended to you for safety. Keep pathways clear and free of fall hazards and well lit. More tips on preventing falls are available in the handbook and should be discussed with your nurse or therapist. Have working smoke detectors and fire extinguishers, as well as an evacuation plan in case of fire. Don't smoke with oxygen in the home or in bed. Don't leave heaters, fireplaces, candles, or other hot objects unattended. Check electrical cords for fraying or cracking. Atrium Health at-home staff will follow current infection control policies, which will include hand cleaning, masks, eye protection, and other personal protective equipment as required. Always clean your hands before handling medicines, food, or touching medical equipment. Also clean your hands after using the restroom or doing any wound or personal care. More information is available for appropriate hand washing in the handbook. Avoid spreading germs by covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. Avoid having other people who may be sick come into your home. Put sharp objects, such as needles and lancets, into a hard plastic container with a lid. For example, a detergent bottle. When two-thirds full, secure the lid and throw away. Dirty bandages or gloves should be put in a bag, closed tightly, and then put into the trash. In the event that you would need to leave your home in case of an evacuation, please have a plan in place for where you would go. Your nurse will need to put this information in your medical record. Before the nurse or therapist can provide any care, you must sign a consent. A paper copy is in the handbook and you will be signing an electronic copy. If you are unable to sign, your representative can sign for you. Information in the consent includes consent for treatment and permission for the visiting staff to obtain emergency assistance if needed. Understanding that if it is determined to meet your needs, some of your care may be provided through video or audio means. 
release or receipt of your medical information as per HIPAA guidelines to payer sources, anyone involved in your care, such as other providers, home health staff, and any auditing entities or legal proceedings. Any pictures taken will be for medical record or treatment use only. At times, some equipment is on a loan basis. In the event this equipment is no longer deemed necessary, it is to be returned clean and in working order. Patient assumes financial responsibility if the equipment is damaged, lost, or unreturned. Your signature also indicates that you have accepted any payment responsibility for services provided. These specific responsibilities will be discussed by your nurse or therapist before you sign. Your signature also acknowledges that you have received a copy of the handbook explaining patient rights and responsibilities and complaint process and have been provided a copy of the agency's notice of privacy practices. This is a lot of information, but we will be glad to go over any of it again if you need to once you get the handbook. You will get a phone call before your visit to confirm your visit address and to schedule the day and time frame of the nurse or therapist's arrival. Here is some information to prepare you for the first visit. The nurse or therapist will need to see all medications regardless of whether they are prescription, over-the-counter, creams, drops or ointments, even vitamins and supplements. We are required to review all medications for interactions and to be sure they are what the provider has ordered. Have your insurance cards with you. The nurse or therapist will need to make a copy for the medical records. Also, as mentioned earlier, if you have any advanced directives, we will also need to see a copy of these. If possible, we encourage any caregivers that are going to be involved in providing your medical care to be available during the first visit. During this first visit, the nurse or therapist will do a physical assessment that includes moving around your home and any assistance you need to be safe in the home. As we plan for your care together, we want to help you achieve whatever goal you have regarding your health and wellness. You will work with the nurse or therapist on how to achieve this goal. We look forward to partnering with you to provide excellent care.